Hi, I'm Wesley, and we're going to use ChatGPT today to answer a Hero query. If you don't, if you're not familiar with what Hero is, it's this help a reporter out. It's a way to build backlinks to your website and get placed on high authority sites um, where they'll link back to you. Basically, it's journalists looking for a source to use in their post, and we are that source. So. I went ahead and got my inbox up here, and I've already found a query to save you some time. So this particular one is about tips to prevent identity theft online, and they have their query here. And so what I'm going to do for this demonstration is basically I'm going to go from beginning to end using ChatGPT to answer a Hero query and show you how it can save time. I'm also going to show you how um, a document that I use to outsource Hero. Um, it's a piece of my process that I hand over to the person that I um, that helps me answer these emails. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to look at their question. And a lot of queries have multiple small mini questions inside them. So this one is looking for an expert commentary on how you can protect yourself from identity theft online. So it says, what is identity theft and why is it dangerous? And then they have a, a second and a third question. So what I'll do, I'm actually just going to copy their first question here and then head on over to chat gpt so on chat gpt we can enter queries and um, get a response so we can just say something like give me a quick answer for and i'll just usually put it in quotes paste it in and let chat gpt do its thing so we're just gonna make it a little shorter so we're gonna say, i'm gonna say make it a little shorter Yep, there we go. This looks good. So I would save this as part of the uh, future um, response. But first, let's go ahead and finish getting uh, the second question here. What steps should people take to protect themselves on the internet? I might have to edit the question a little bit just so chat GPT fully understands what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna say, give me a quick answer for, same thing. I was put it in quotes and this, I'm gonna change it to what steps should people, let's see, should people take to protect themselves on the internet? And then, and then I will just say from identity theft. There are several steps that people can take to protect themselves from identity theft online. And then it throws out some bullet points here. Using strong and unique passwords. That's, that's a good um, bullet point here because I think their third question is related to that using a uh, password tool. So that should be really good actually. And then obviously you're going to want to read through these answers and fact check them, but um, this will save you a lot of time regardless. That's pretty detailed. That might be a little long for Hero. Um, I might, I might would limit it to five points at the most. Um, usually somewhere three to five is usually fine, but this looks pretty good. And then we'll just go back and get the last question. And again, we're just going to repeat this process. We'll do it again. Give me a quick answer or put it in quotes and then this one is why are things like a password manager important and then i'm just going to put for protecting your identity online just so make sure it stays relevant and then what we're going to do uh, when we start to email this out we will just piece all this together and then i'll show you my document that i use and kind of how i go about creating a hero email um, and how i structure them now this, this response is a little long. Make the above answer half as long. Great, yeah, short and, short and sweet. That's what we want, perfect. And again, um, if you're doing this for your actual website, definitely fact check these things, read over them, throw them in a grammar checker. Um, and there's some uh, other tools out there that um, beyond the scope of this video that you can do to make it sound uh, and read a little bit better, better past AI uh, plagiarism checkers, things like that. But um, I don't know if we need to go that far for Hero. But anyway, so once we have our components to the email, we will email this out and we'll structure it. So this is the actual document that I hand over to the person I outsource Hero to. This is just one of the final SOPs. Um, whenever they get to actually executing and emailing out a response. It's got five parts here. We got our subject line, intro and qualification. We throw in a key point, backup key point with experience or example, outro, links, bios, things like that. And feel free to either pause this video as I scroll through this document if you really want to um, maybe copy this uh, SOP and use it in part of your own process. For the subject line, try to summarize an interesting take on the topic 
It should be concise and descriptive enough to relate to their original query. ChatGPT will likely be able to help us with this too. Let's come back over. Give me a short, catchy email subject line about this. That's pretty good. I would probably just change that around. Something like uh, f five simple steps to prevent identity theft and protect yourself online, something like that, just so they're, um, they're, what they put in their query kind of shows up first, and then obviously change your bullet point to, you know, there's seven here, so I would change that five to a seven. Okay, so the next part is to put an introduction and qualification in. I'll just highlight this example here. You see how this one's short and sweet. It says, and again, this is just an example, but it says, as the owner of an online business making seven figures annual in annual revenue, I love to share my number one money-making tips for be beginners. Very short, very sweet lets you know that you have experience and lets you know that you're qualified to be answering this question. Um, you know, if I was in this niche, it would, I would be doing uh, something similar. Like their requirements are for cybersecurity experts, law enforcement, attorney, lawyers, um, something like that. So, you know, if you're, if you're an attorney um, or if you're in law enforcement answering this, you know, as a law enforcement officer for the past 20 years, I've done X, Y, Z with, you know, cybersecurity, identity theft, things like that. Kind of just a quick qualification. Uh, pretty simple. And then you just want to get to your key point. So you're just kind of highlighting why their query is important. And you just want to get to the point as quickly as possible and keep everything easy to understand. And then you want to back up your point. And this is the backing up your point is basically for this particular query, I would just back it up with what I have gotten from ChatGPT here. I uh, would use the short version, then the bullet points, and put in order that from the way they uh, submitted their query. And it actually would probably be better above each section to put in, like, copy paste their question exactly, put it in bold um, before the answer that ChatGPT gave you, just kind of structure it that way. But you can see quickly how ChatGPT really speed up the process of answering Harrow and going through this. Um, process of getting backlinks. Using a tool like this, you can really speed up the number of queries you're able to answer in a day and increase your odds of achieving more backlinks with this uh, resource. Because one of the most important things with Hero is your response time. That's going to be because as soon as the reporter gets, say they only need like one or two maybe uh, references or sources, the ones at the top of their inbox that they go through and look at, first two they find that fit their needs, they're going to use those and be done. So, you know, if you're the 20th person to reply, you're, you're not going to get picked. Even if you got a better answer, because that's just human nature. They're pro the likelihood of them sifting through more and more emails just to see if there's a better answer, slim to none. They're just going to get the first two good enough ones they find, and those are going to be the winners, and those people will get the backlinks. So using ChatGPT, this will save you a ton of time and, and being first to respond. As soon as that email comes in, be the first to respond you're going to get more backlinks that way. Use chat GPT to take the edge on that and get the advantage. And I'm sure you're going to do well just to finish it up here. Just end it with your outro. Usually I just do something like this here. I put my name in bold founder of website, put the URL and then upload a headshot of yourself to uh, Google drive or something like something like that. And then give them a link to it. Don't actually put an image into the email. You'll end up in the spam folder. A lot of times avoid that. And then just maybe a short bio. And that's pretty much it. And that's how ChatGPT can save you time and speed up your Hero replies and end up getting you more backlinks. So I hope you found this helpful. Like this video, subscribe. Join my Discord if you haven't or if you're not a member. I've just launched it recently um, before making this video. Um, it's going to be a great community, a place for us to talk, discuss, and grow together. Um, I plan on hosting some mastermind calls, things like that. Join me there. See you there. Bye.